Columbia was an American brand of automobiles produced by a group of companies in the United States. They included the Pope Manufacturing Company of Hartford, Connecticut, the Electric Vehicle Company, and an entity of brief existence in 1899, the Columbia Automobile Company. At the turn of the 20th century they were producing and selling hundreds of vehicles a year under Pope's Columbia brand name, while most gasoline engine automobile manufacturers had made only a few dozen. In 1908, the company was renamed the Columbia Motor Car Company and in 1910 was acquired by United States Motor Company. A different Columbia Motors existed from 1917 to 1924. Topic. Electric models The 1904 Columbia Brome was equipped with a tonneau. It could seat four passengers and sold for $3,500. Twin electric motors were situated at the rear of the car. Similar Columbia Coupes, Columbia Hansom cabs, or Hansoms, were also produced for the same price. They could achieve 13 miles per hour, 21 kilometers per hour. A Columbia Victoria Phaeton was priced at $3,000, but was based on the same design. The Columbia Surrey and Columbia Victoria were more traditional horseless carriages. Both used the same power system as the larger cars, with twin electric motors, but cost much less at $1,500 and $1,600, respectively. At the bottom end of the range was the Columbia Runabout car. Priced at just $750, it used a single electric motor, with an Exide battery and Concord springs. Columbia's basic runabout was typical of the time, resembling a horseless carriage, and was steered via a tiller. It cost $850, $200 more than the contemporary curved dash Oldsmobile. The 1,200-pound single bench seat vehicle had a wheelbase of 64 inches 1, mm, and rode on 30-inch mm wooden spoked wheels, with leather fenders. The drivetrain had clear evolutionary roots in Pope's bicycle business, driving the rear axle via a chain drive typical of automobiles of the era, producing virtually the only operating noise. Between the motor and the chain drive was a transmission with three forward and two reverse speeds. Twenty batteries manufactured by Exide Batteries, also associated with Electric Vehicle Company, were placed above both axles in order to balance the weight. Brakes on both rear wheels featured a bell, which rang when the vehicle reached a full stop. Top speed was about 15 miles per hour, 24 kilometers per hour. Besides the runabout, Columbia manufactured about 20 other models including taxis, police cars, and buses. The vehicles were most popular in cities, where relatively smooth roads made the electric motor, with its smoothness and silence, appear superior over the gasoline engine. It helped in urban areas that electrical supply for recharging was easily found within the runabout's 40-mile range. Nevertheless, in 1903, a Columbia was driven 250 miles 400 kilometers from Boston to New York City in 23 hours. In keeping with this urban orientation, the Columbia was positioned as a high-end vehicle even at a time when automobiles were very expensive, with its showroom across the street from the Metropolitan Opera House in New York. Topic. Internal combustion engined models The Columbia Touring Car was an entirely different car. A touring car model, it used a tonneau, seating six passengers, and resembled the touring models offered by many other companies at the time. Priced at $4,500 to $5,000, it used a vertically mounted straight four, situated at the front of the car, producing 24 horsepower 18 kilowatts. A four-speed sliding transmission was fitted. 
The car weighed 3,000 pounds 1, kilograms. One design innovation was the false frame supporting the engine. A night sleeve valve powered model was added to the range in 1912 and 1913. Topic. See also Brass era car History of the electric vehicle United States Motor Company List of defunct United States automobile manufacturers